This overview is the first in a series of four videos on Oracle Passport SaaS offerings. The Oracle Cloud Platform enables you to digitize your enterprise by focusing on Analyze, Extend, Connect, and Secure. For Analyze, Oracle Analytics Cloud for Applications provides intuitive visualizations to greatly improve productivity with valuable insights. Let's take a look and see how this works in Oracle Cloud. We're going to kick off our demo with our latest product on the market, which is Oracle Analytics for Applications, also known as OAX. OAX is built on top of Oracle Analytics Cloud, which is also OAC. And we've engineered OAX to use much of the core features and functionalities found within OAC. And we've enhanced them by allowing you to eliminate the need of building all those contents yourself, like reports, metrics, and visualizations. OAX is great because it empowers business users to really utilize those benchmark KPIs at your disposal, the ready-to-use dashboards that help describe all the different lines of businesses within your company, and the pre-built connectors to your NetSuite environment and your Fusion SaaS applications like HCM, DX, SCM, and ERP. The demo that we're going to be showcasing to you today um, is going to walk you through a company called Vision. Vision is a manufacturing company of technical products. And in order to create their final products, they have to obtain the raw materials from a multitude of different suppliers. While doing so, the financial manager of Vision notices that their company is late at paying back some of the suppliers. So him and his business analysts are going to collaborate together to better understand what is going on within their payables department. What they're going to rely on is OAX. OAX is going to help them understand and digest the ERP data best as they can as it provides them all these pre-built metrics and dashboards and KPIs that describe exactly what is affecting the balances um, ratio and how they can determine which invoices and suppliers they need to pay back in a timely manner. By relying also on OAX, it's going to push the ERP data into ADW and then use that data into OAX where they can rely on all of these dashboards built for them. When opening OAX, the financial manager can see how the Fusion ERP data has been ingested into OAX as he can see all the pre-built decks and visual metrics that have been provided to him. There's different decks that describe the lines of businesses for him that tell him more than just the financial health of the company. We can see that there's a deck for profit and loss, payables, the balance sheet, financial ratios, and much more. Having these different metrics and graphs telling him about the business help him better understand what could be potentially affecting the accounts payable ratio. On the My Working Capital deck, this is a deck that the financial manager has customized himself and put in the KPIs that he believes best attribute to the payables metric. He's included the KPIs like networking capital, day sales outstanding, days payable outstanding, and much more. And just by a quick glance, he's able to see, based off the alert colors, green, yellow, and red, um, which of these KPIs are outperforming each other or are performing poorly. This grabs his attention and lets him understand which KPI him and his team actually needs to focus their attention on. But because right now he wants to look at which of their suppliers they're paying back um, at a later rate, he's going to be looking at the day's payable outstanding KPI. The financial manager wants to look into the day's payable outstanding KPI because right now his, um, his greatest concern is how late they are at paying back their suppliers. So he goes and clicks on the hamburger menu of the KPI card and hits payables analysis. What's generated to him is this pre-built dashboard that OAX has made and it gives him three different visualizations as well as an itemized report that we see on the bottom. On the far left, we have the 
the trailing 12 months graph that's increasing. And to the right of it is a line graph of the payables turnover, which is decreasing. From the graph that we're looking at, we can see that although they're paying back their suppliers in a timely manner, they're taking on more outstanding balances um, at a rate that's much quicker than what they're able to pay back on. Again, this is validated by the quarterly DPO graph that we see on the far right. From the report on the bottom, the financial manager can use this and better understand which of these suppliers and invoices they're late to pay back on and by exactly how much. So the financial manager now wants to look deeper into payables and does so by including a new KPI onto his My Working Capital deck. He clicks on the addition button and types in AP turnover. And he's going to double click on the metric that he wants. And that is going to pre-populate the preview window on the right hand side and it gives him an automated visualization of this metric. And this is going to cut down much of the time that him and his team takes in order to figure out what visualization best represents this metric. The financial manager also wants to personalize this card a bit more before he adds it to his deck. And so by customizing it, he's going to include a metric that shows him how much um, they're paying back quarter by quarter. And so he sees that once he includes this metric that OAX has already put in a calculation and shows him that they're paying back their suppliers at a rate that is 9.559% lower than the last quarter. He's also going to personalize this card even further by going into the conditions, which is going to alert him um, on the KPI of whether it's in the um, critical stage um, or it's performing well. So it's going to be representing uh, green, yellow, or red on the very top. And we see that with the AP turnover rate, it's already by default in the warning stage. So their metric is falling in between the 100th to 70th percentile. The financial manager is already happy with the default settings. And so he's going to go ahead and keep them and now add the card to his deck. And we can see by just relating the AP turnover rate card to the day's payable outstanding card that there is a story that's being told as both of these KPIs are in the warning um, alert stage. So the financial manager wants to dive deeper into the turnover rate and he's going to expand on the card and he's going to have a more detailed view of the graph shown. Now we can see all the different metrics and how this um, AP turnover rate is changing um, quarter by quarter. And since this is in the warning stage, he wants to let his business analysts know that he wants to get some additional reports generated so that they can determine what steps they need to take to better the balances ratio. He's going to send a message to his business analysts As he types it in, he can add the note onto the KPI card. And once the note is added, his business analyst will be notified of um, this note and it's going to let him know that he needs to take action, whether that's um, create a new report and find some pre-made um, reports and visualizations that, the, that he can then send over to the financial manager. So now that the business analyst has been notified of this new action, the financial manager is going to go and see what new reports his business analyst has made for him. When he clicks onto the hamburger menu of the AP turnover rate card, he can see that there's seven different reports that the business analyst has attached to this card. What's of interest to him right now is the AP balances analysis. He's going to click on that and see exactly the report that has been gen generated for him. We see about four different visualizations that the business analyst has put together as well as a report on the bottom. He's picked out these different visualizations that 
help us determine the top 10 suppliers with the greatest amount of balances that we're that we need to pay back on. And there's another graph called AP due for six months that let us know which of the balances from the 10 suppliers we've yet to pay back um, in the past six months. By looking at the report that we've um, been provided on the very bottom, we can just look further into which of these suppliers and the invoices attached to these suppliers that we need to pay back within six months. And what's great about this report is that we can also, um, we can also change the look of it um, in real time. And so with the overdue amount, we're able to now filter by ascending or descending view without having to change um, an application or put this into an Excel report. So the financial manager now wants to look at a second report that was built by um, his business analyst. Clicking again on the hamburger menu of the AP turnover rate, he's now going to look at the AP invoices analysis. Again, this is a report that's built by the business analyst who simply just chose all the pre-made um, graphs and visualizations that were provided by OAX. And what he did was just customize the report to make it um, flow in a story that his entire team can best understand it as. So as we can see, the business analyst has chosen um, a graph that describes the balances over quarter by quarter. And again, the amount of invoices they're um, taking month by month and the average rate in which they're able to pay them off at. On the bottom, the financial um, manager can see that there has been the natural language generator report that is being provided below. And this is just um, a quick um, generated report that he could read. Um, and it describes to him the uh, graph that we see at the far left. And so rather than taking the time to understand exactly what his data means based off the graph, um, the team can really utilize the natural language generator to already assess what is going on um, within a particular graph. Um, and it cuts down the amount of time uh, spent trying to figure out what it means. Now that we've reached the end of our demonstration, um, I hope that you've gained a better understanding of the power of OAX as I described to you, um, just how easy it is to best understand uh, the context of your data from Fusion ERP as it was ingested into ADW and then put into all these pre-built KPIs and dashboards ready for your disposal on the OAX environment. Oracle Pass for SaaS offerings allow easy adaptation to the continuously changing business landscapes. You can subscribe to any of these offerings at your pace, use what you need, and when you need it. To learn more, please watch additional videos in this Passport SaaS series.